Welcome back. Today is all about taking on stigmas, those marks of disgrace placed on us by society or sometimes even ourselves and turning them into something we can embrace with grace. So we've been talking about judgment and stigmas. One area that I think is still so hard to talk about is hair loss. If you look at your social media feeds or even talk amongst your friends, you know it's become one of the biggest personal struggles for a lot of people worried about being judged and fall into a panic and seeing hair loss in the shower drain for many different reasons, by the way. The stigma over hair loss has become such a big issue that many major magazines and newspapers are now devoting articles to talking openly about it. And now there's even a reality TV show about hair disorders. It's TLC's Bad Hair Day, where industry leading doctors are showing there's no need to hide this hair issue that so many are judged for. Take a look. We are a world filled with people of all shapes and sizes, all walks of life. And as different as we may seem, the one thing that we all have in common is hair. 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 Some more than others. I'm having a bad hair year. Looking at myself in the mirror, it's like just unbearable sometimes. Losing my hair. I think it was the lowest point, you know, in my life. I got made fun of a lot as a kid. It was hurtful that they would just hate me or think negative of me just because of my hair. I'm a woman with a beard. All I wanted to do was be a normal teenager. <sighs> Dr. Mina Singh stars in TLC's Bad Hair Day. She's a board certified dermatologist and surgeon who specialized in treatments for hair disorders. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Anybody who stays up late like I do and you watch late night TV, every other commercial is about hair loss. Right. Every other commercial. To see that, um, Dr. Mina, uh, it's so heartbreaking when the woman said this is the lowest point of her life. Yes. You hear this all day long. I do, and alopecia really has been a hot topic yeah. all year, and I think now people are seeing how it actually affects those who are suffering from it. I have heard a lot of statements about how hair loss and alopecia, you know, it's just a cosmetic thing, and they're not sick, so they're fine, but it really takes a toll on people's lives, and what's great about the show is it really highlights their journeys, and it's just an honor to play a role in kind of changing the direction of their lives. Were you prepared to hear how difficult, I mean, I know that you are, Allure magazines, one doctor asked me, you're one of fewer than 50 people in the entire world who specialize in transplants on kinky and curly hair textures. Yes. So you're an, a unicorn in this hair business. I mean, you, what you've done is remarkable. But that said, were you prepared to hear this pain? People spiral into depression over hair loss. Yes, they do. And I think when I see patients normally in clinic, you know, I'm doing the technical side and I'm getting a history and I'm trying to figure out how I can help them. But when I was doing the show, we got more into their personal lives and their journeys. And it was really heartbreaking. And there was tears with every patient. And it was really just amazing that I got to help in some way. What are some of the judgment that they get? First of all, that it's just cosmetic mm. and it, they're fine. And even those that had seen some other providers in the past will say, it's just hair, wear a wig, it's okay. And um, I think we're not recognizing the toll that it takes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Coming up, more with Dr. Mina Singh who, when we come back. The most recent relationship that I had, we were together like all the time. And so for someone who struggles with hirsutism and shaving and hiding it like that, it was hard because I'd have to get up before he gets up. I got to shave my face. Hopefully I don't cut my face. Now I got to put on makeup to cover the issues. Like it was a lot. It was exhausting. Wow. Welcome back. We're here with Dr. Mina Singh from TLC's new medical series, Bad Hair Day. Tell me more about that patient. Yes. So it's not normal to see a woman with a beard and it is very stigmatized. She, what causes it? Is that hormones? Yes, so it's called hirsutism, and it's when a woman grows hair where a man usually does. And it's when testosterone basically binds your hair follicles like how a man would. And Are you born with that hormone, or is it something that develops? No, it just develops over time. It can be from certain exposures, but we definitely see it more in black women than other populations, so it's something that really affects us. And thankfully, there are good treatments. So what we, are the treatments? Yes, so we can stop some of the action of the testosterone with the medical treatment with the pill. Wow. We can do laser hair removal, and that's really how we get rid of it. 
fascinating. Mm -hmm. I mean, the cases that you address and the people, obviously I don't like calling people cases because you are yeah. dealing with their case, but these mm -hmm. are human beings and we Absolutely. see the impact of it. Well, I applaud everything that you've done well, with this you. show. I know um, folks will be watching. Was it life changing for you? Absolutely. Um, it's my purpose and to be, be able to fulfill my purpose in this way was just everything to me. I always wanted to focus on women in particular and especially women of color. And one of the main reasons that we seek out dermatologists is for hair loss and hair disorders. Yeah. So I wanted to make sure that I can address that. And so that's what I, my specialty is. And so to be able to do it on this platform has just been really amazing. Wow, well, it's yeah. fascinating. I mean, not bad for a girl from Kansas. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Go Chiefs, by the way. You know, before we go, we have a few seconds. What is the one thing you want us to know about our hair? And what, no matter your race, no matter what type of hair. Yes, so if you have a problem with your hair, any kind of hair disorder, make sure you seek out a diagnosis because a lot of this stuff is very treatable. And the earlier we can recognize it, the earlier we can manage and save those hairs. Wow, and yes. stop people from being judged. Dr. Mina, thank you so much, thank you for, so much for having me. You can watch Bad Hair Day on TLC. Check your local listings.